Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an error code 10 that you are experiencing in Device Manager that pertains to not having audio on your system. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that to open it up. First service you want to look for here is the Windows Audio service. So you might have to scroll down a little bit. And go ahead and double click on it. Set server type to automatic. And if service status is currently stopped, you want to go ahead and click on the start button. So go ahead and make sure that is started up. So I have to apply and OK. Close out of here. You also want to head over back to the start menu type in troubleshoot. Best results should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select additional troubleshooters on the right panel here. And select where it says playing audio, find and fix problems with playing sound, and select run the troubleshooter. Follow along with whatever suggestions it offers here. And once you're done, see if your sound has been restored. Try restarting your computer. Make sure all your sound cords are plugged in properly too. And one final thing we're going to do is update our sound drivers. So head back to the start menu. We're going to search up device manager now. Now you want to go ahead and open that up. And we want to now go expand audio inputs and outputs. Double click on that. And now we want to go right click on the speakers and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And now select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that seems more applicable. If you only have one option for like a generic driver, you can. But I'm going to select the one that seems a little bit more specific. And then I'm going to select next. Make sure it has successfully updated your drivers. Click on close close out of here, restart your computer, as well as turning your speakers off and then on again. And just doing, I guess doing a power cycle is another way of putting it for your speakers. I know we're used to talking about computers that way, but you can also do that with pretty much any electronic, generally speaking. So that was pretty much it, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.